Hi everyone, welcome to today's vlog episode. We're going to talk about Japan House London that opened on this very Friday. Is it on Kensington High Street? which is just next to Hyde Park, southwest corner of the Hyde Park. They started the construction work last year in October, but I knew about this project long before. I'm based in London and a few years ago I just simply typed into Google Japan in London and it took me basically one or two clicks to arrive to japan house london project and i must tell you that they have the best facebook page ever it is the most informative and in the same time the most mysterious it brings up names like tadao andao who is a self-taught Japanese architect. And I was like, oh my god, what a word. Self-taught architect. It's like there's, I cannot think of any other word that could pull me in more than this. A self-taught artist, a self-taught architect and there's another name for you Mazamichi Katayama at the Japan house London you have a basement place that is um, split apart by two big areas one is the gallery with a lot of pictures and the other side you have basically uh, a cinema, a screening room and when I was in the house, in the Japan house I sit just in the last row of the chairs and I was looking at this man you can uh, watch the video on their Facebook page as well so I was watching Mr. Katayama face and I remember the time when my father uh, found me a job when I was about 17 years old and I was studying next to a gentleman similar to him. What a great master. You listen to him for a couple of seconds and you already know that he was the perfect choice. for the Japanese house. The promotion says that come to Japan house, experience Japan in the heart of London. And I did just that when I was sitting on the ground floor just behind the coffee where we had hojicha latte and matcha latte. We were leafing through a book featuring Hukosai's paintings. I'm a proud member of the British Museum. So last year when they had the Hukosai exhibition, I visited it, I think, every day, or at least three times a week. Because I think there are like five rules to lead a happy life especially when you're creating things and he followed that five rules throughout his long life and when i think of japan i think of hukosai first london is a special city you know when you are on all the socials, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and all that. You see pictures <clears throat> coming about 
you know, pizza and all that kind of junk food. But London is special in this respect as well, because here sushi is cheaper and easier to get than pizza. So having sushi every week as well brought me closer to the Japanese culture. Right now I'm on holiday. I have a couple of weeks and I'm staying at home. I traveled Nova and I'm spending my time writing an essay for my college. And obviously I knew about the opening of the Japan house, but I decided to go there Mm, maybe on Friday, mm, maybe on Saturday, maybe Sunday and the time passed by and it was Saturday when I opened the Facebook I saw Azuma Makoto special flower installation video and you know when I saw this man and the way how he was looking at his creation immediately I decided to get out of my room, get out of my house and go and see it for myself. Azuma has the power to move people or at least move me. <laughs> It took me and my friends a whole afternoon to get to Kensington High Street. The reason is that it's Saturday and Saturday is very busy for our capital. There's always something going on on every corner. You have protests like, uh, phew, you know, all sort of things going on. So. The videos right now you can see is from Piccadilly Circus to Hyde Park Corner and from Hyde Park Corner to High Street Kensington. I've been in that particular area only once in my life and I thought that we can walk from Piccadilly to Kensington High Street and I estimated it to be about 10 minutes. Well, it was more like two hours, <laughs> but it worth it. The whole journey prepared us for this Japanese experience and I'm really glad for it. The first thing I have to say about the place, the moment I stepped in, I noticed how huge it is. I expected something much smaller, but the place is massive. And we had such a big crowd, it was not easy for me to film. It was very modern and Basically, you had everything from a culture you can get from the beginning until today. And the second thing I have to say about that, the people. Because you can say whatever you want about a place if it does not attract the right people but here you have the best people from the city you could see it on them everyone was amazing pure at heart and great and I was like when I was standing in the middle of the place I was looking around and I said oh my god I'm not in London, I'm in somewhere else. 
everything I could wish for. You must go there and visit. It's one of the best places right now in London.